Dalam dua dekade, populasi kupu-kupu di Amerika Serikat turun tajam sekitar 22 persen. We've lost about one out of every five butterflies from 2000 to 2020, which is a massive reduction in abundance over just such a short time period. Um, so if you imagine you went out to go watch butterflies in 2000 and you saw 100 and you went back to the same site in 2020, you'd probably only see 80 individuals. Peneliti memperkirakan ada 650 lebih spesies kupu-kupu di Amerika Serikat. Hanya 554 spesies bisa dipantau pergerakannya. We saw a lot of declining species in the southwest, which is part of the U.S. that is heated up and dried out much more quickly than other regions. We think that drought might be um, kind of the culprit there in terms of southwestern butterfly declines. We also um, saw pretty strong declines in the Midwest. Uh, there was one of the Status of Butterflies Working Group members who did a separate analysis that found that insecticides, more so than any other driver, more so than land use change, more than climate change, uh, insecticides really were the number one driver of declines for butterflies in the Midwest. Berkurangnya populasi kupu-kupu tak hanya memukul keragaman hayati, tapi memiliki dampak ekonomi pada manusia. Butterflies were responsible in Texas for about 80 million dollars of cotton pollination per year. That's just in Texas. So add that up across the world and um, you know, it's a significant amount of money. And so the bottom line is butterflies, they're still not as important as bees, but they are important. Menurut peneliti yang terlibat riset kupu-kupu ini belum terlambat untuk membalikan tren risiko kepunahan. There's a lot of work on how habitat restoration and habitat management can really improve the outcomes for individual populations. And so, you know, this study is uh, national in scale. Um, but when you kind of zoom in and look at individual populations, they generally are doing much better when they are uh, when the habitats are being restored. You can you can make changes in your backyard and in you know your neighborhood. And, and in your state that can really improve the situation for a lot of species. Yang ikut mendapat perhatian adalah kupu-kupu monarch alias kupu-kupu raja. Survei terkini mencatat jumlah totalnya mencapai sekitar 10.000 ekor, jauh di bawah populasinya pada 1997 yang mencapai 1,2 juta kupu-kupu. Peneliti menemukan bahwa sekitar sepertiga spesies kupu-kupu yang diteliti berkurang populasinya sekitar separuh. Lalu 22 spesies bahkan berkurang sekitar 90 persen. 3 persen dari seluruh kupu-kupu justru bertambah populasinya. Jumlah yang relatif sedikit dibandingkan seluruh kupu-kupu yang ditelaah populasinya selama dua dekade. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.